back with the Trevor Tysman show. And let me tell you the Regal surf boat here, the LS six, that might be my choice. If I had to do one, if it wasn't all about price, uh, I'm telling you that boat probably has the best design features out there. And if you're willing to swallow an additional 30, 40, $50,000 over the crown line, I think that the Regal would be the best option. Let me explain why. First off, when you come up to the LS6, it has probably one of the best back decks in the game. And the reason why I say that is there's a lot of options out there where there's folding wake decks like the Cobalt, uh, also like the Chaparral. It's an oversized deck, also like that. Um, and then you've got the ladder mechanism. So an awful lot of these boats have a ladder system that you can utilize. But let me tell you, if you do a lot of boating and you're out there an awful lot and you're trying to swim out, what is the best thing for you? The thing you have to do absolutely nothing with is what I'm interested in. There's so many things you got to worry about. You got to throw an anchor. You got to tie up. You got to put your bumpers up. You got to make sure that the sun is at the right angle so no one gets sunburned. You know what I mean? There's a lot to do when you're working on a boat. So having the ability to have that deck so low in the water and still be an oversized deck and have amazing rear seating that all that it requires me to do is flip those two things back, I would say by far, no comparison, probably the best setup in the game. Now you can compare it to the Cobalt, you can compare it to the Chaparral Crown Line and a lot of boats in that category for the forward facing drive. Now I am partial. I would take that design over a wake boat style Malibu Mastercraft Nautique. I would take it over that design all day long other than the Nautique. It's probably got the best walkway in the business in that category. But I would take that forward drive style boat over a wake boat for the walkway purposes. I'm not a ninja. I'm not crawling over seats anymore. Uh, I just don't like that part of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I've ridden on a lot of wake boats and I absolutely love the wake and I get it. The boats are amazing. Just not for me. The just not for me. But back to the Regal. Now, the Regal has the deck that is in the water, probably the lowest deck in the game. It is in the water, just slightly above. But if you have a little weight on your boat, I think you'd find that it's more or less in the water. It's right in the mix. So what do you do? You walk over, you swim on over, you put your cocktail down, you lay your belly on the deck and you're in, right? Very easy to do. It doesn't take, uh, you know, the skinny leg method, toothpicking up the little ladder to where you feel like you're breaking your knee in half. Um, there's just a, it's a lot easier to get up on. Now, Chaparral, Cobalt, they've got the step-down system. A lot of work, got to push a button, got to wait on it. I know that sounds silly, but you got to understand, if you're doing all these things, I just can't imagine that when my kids are done tubing, I'm going to go over there and push this button and wait for this step to come down, take six seconds. You know, some of those things I just think about down the road, I'm not sure if I would be, let, let me put it this way. Is it a bad thing? No. Is it better than the deck being in the water? Definitely not. So Regal takes the, the crown there for the best uh, low deck position on where they put it. Now, I think that the interior of the Regal is genius. I don't know that the captain seat I would consider the best one because it didn't have any side support. You're a little bit like you're on a bench. And if you've ever been in a boat and you get turning around and you hit some side waves or some chop, I want to feel like I'm sitting here. You know, if everybody else wants to fall down, that's fine. But I've got the steering wheel. So we got to make sure that my butt's staying in place. So I didn't really like how there was no bump out or anything to hold my sides a little. Um, but I have not water test drove the boat. So I can't say that that would actually be a problem. But that was a concern. But overall, the interior design is awesome how they have those bumpers. You simply... Rock them back, rock them forward. You want to go forward, everyone wants to take a nice ride. Co-captain, captain sides, flip them over. Now we're looking forward, everybody's good to go. Oh, we're parked up, beautiful sunny day. This is the spot, throw the anchor. Walking back through the cockpit, you flip all those seats over and now they're all rear facing for a pretty great experience to swim out. I think that Regal probably has done the best job in making a universal design that's a little bit more foolproof. No buttons, no switches, flip that thing over, well-made, nice design, good upholstery. Um, I think that they really nailed that design. That LS6 uh, is the first model that they put the bathroom in. So I don't know about you, but my wife is in to the bathroom for the kids. You know, I don't know what it is about a kid that somehow when you get into the middle of the lake, it's not close. It's not right by the dock. 
get about 20 minutes out and then someone has to use the bathroom and it's never number one. So you got to spend all this time trying to figure out, do we got to go all the way back? Maybe we should, do you think they just, you know, swim in the water? I, growing up, but we were in the river. I remember swimming over and, you know, dropping the kids off. You know, I, I don't have a problem with it, but not in 2022. We got to use a bathroom. We got to have everything okay for the kids, which is fine. I'm into that. So bathrooms are required for the youngsters. I didn't know that about life. But now I know if you've got a kid under four, they need a bathroom on a boat. LS6 is the first model that that comes with. And that may be an issue for some people. If you're on a lake where you need a smaller boat, you can't get that on this. That's one perk about the crown line that comes in at a little bit shorter of a boat that may work a little bit better for you. And that's one of the perks for that crown line video I'm going to do next. But for the Regal, bathroom comes in at the LS6. Really love that boat. I have never driven the boat yet this summer. I plan to. But the problem for me with the Regal is going to be the uh, archway design. Now, this may be only my problem or maybe 2,000 people in the United States problem that likes to... Um, hydrofoil. But if you hydrofoil, you put this big old ski on the side of your boat in this rack. But the most inconvenient thing is it has a T-bar that's 40 inches long. And this thing will go up and it basically whacks your bimini when you try to move it in. This big silly contraption will not go into a boat slip unless it 360 spins into your boat. Well, that's when that T-bar will hit the bimini. I'm a little bit concerned that what I like to do is hydrofoil and whatnot is that that bimini is going to stop my ski from swinging in. So that's a big hiccup for me personally with that particular boat model. But I realize that that's probably just me. Most everybody else is going to be okay in a lot of other formats. As long as your ballasts aren't full, you're going to have tons of room for storage in this boat. Um, but if you do use your ballast system, you always got to remember that it does in fact take up your storage when you fill up all the sacks. So storage is going to be predominantly towards the front of the boat because everything else fills up towards the backside of the boat. So you got to be careful with that. Now, one other thing that I had, uh, if you guys go look at this boat or are interested in the boat, I realize that if you're listening, you're probably interested. When you test drive it, I would want to test drive the Malibu series Surfgate style boat, Chaparral or Cobalt. If you're a big wave person and you want the best wave, realize the technologies are different. Regal has the tab system that's going down and then they're adding weight into the hole. The Chaparral, the weight is in one central location. These other boats are using different style ballast tanks to where you could actually get a little bit of a, a shift in the weight on the boat through your ballast filling. So when you test drive this Regal, I think you'll want to realize that it is a tab-based system that's pushing down this way, not outside like the Malibu. So if you're looking for the best surf boat, and if you're getting into the LS6, it is $170,000. So that is where you're falling if you want the true motor that you're going to want to uh, get. And what I mean by that is, of course, they're going to tout, hey, you should get this 300 stock motor with it, 300 horsepower. You know, if you've ever been around boats a lot, if there's an option to upgrade, you should upgrade it because there's probably a reason for that or you're going to have eight or nine people on the boat and you're going to find out real quick that your boating experience turns upside down because you can't do any of the stuff that you were doing with that smaller motor in those scenarios. And after you're down the road and you already paid off your boat, the one thing you're always going to remember, I wish I would have upgraded that motor. You'll always think that. And I think that uh, never go in there and buy a boat without buying the more horsepower. That's just the way it is. So at least the 350 puts that boat at about 170 walking out. So if you're in the 170 category, then I would be also looking at some of those cobalt versions because, you know, I would say the finish of the boat, the Regal is going to be a little bit closer to the Cobalt, in my opinion, on walking through them. So if I was going to spend $170,000 on a boat, I want to go look at the Cobalts because I might find one a year or two older with that Malibu surf system on it that makes a better wave with a similar finish, if not even better, if I was all about the wave. Does that make sense? It, the, the Malibu surf system is a different technology that it seems to be a more effective wave maker. So if I'm going to get all the way up to 170, I sure want to make sure I got a pretty darn good wave. Now, if the wave looks great to you, I think it has the best interior cockpit uh, 
slash end of the boat lounge area design. You know, I, I don't know that this still wouldn't be the boat that I end up buying if I can find one used. I really, really like the Regal's design. It is by far the most thought out. And if you've got a boatload of money and, and want to move up into their hardtop tower, let me tell you, on display at the boat show was probably the coolest tower I've ever seen. It's a hardtop tower, which is a lot of downsides of a hardtop tower, but there's also a lot of pluses, a lot less things to do if it's always there. But you never have any sun, you know? So if you go out in the fall or the early part of the summer and it's a little chilly, well, it would be okay if I didn't have this hardtop up and I can't even get anything, no sunlight in. This thing slid the roof back. It literally had like a moon roof to where probably let in about 60, 70% light. You know, it wasn't the whole hard top. It was just the middle area that slid back, but it slid back to the entire cockpit. And it was a really good design. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It uh, gave you the ability to have the sun in there if you wanted it. And if you didn't, then you'd close it up. Uh, the other piece on that hard top was also mid July, late August, sweaty, hot sun is just boiling down, right? Need shade, hard top. Good. Close up the moon roof. Good. This thing has extending poles that comes out over the swim deck. If you've got little kids, you know, those little bodies can only take so much. You know, I've been around a lot of little kids that they, they get pretty tanned. Most of them, though, they get burnt. You know, they, they're fair skinned when they're younger. And, you know, the ones that I'm around anyway, you know, the pretty fair skin, you get pretty toasty after those later months. And having the ability to extend that sun pad or the, uh, the sunshade over the back deck is a really unique feature that was all built into that hardtop. So, if you have uh, enough cash to get you one of them, I think that the Regal all around probably has the most witty, well thought out, engineered boat if you go all out and get into that 250, 260 range. And, you know, that's not for me. You know, I wish I could, but uh, that boat will not be in my driveway. But it was a, a very well engineered boat, and there's a lot of great perks on it that I think that most people would agree with are, are very, very well thought out. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, the crown line. We still got to get through all the other wake boats too. So stick with me and uh, we'll get through them all.